Let's discuss the mouth, okay? When you encounter someone that has white teeth, it's like, oh, wait a minute, I don't even wanna smile now because her mouth and look at my mouth. I get that, right? It's molded to your teeth and then you can use those syringes from Amazon and then put it in the tray and then bite it down and then you are whitening your teeth. Don't feel like you're gonna whiten your teeth and then have a poor dental hygiene. That is disgusting, okay? I'm just gonna say it. You should not be having bad breath. We don't wanna have white teeth and bad breath. I get a lot of questions on how I keep my teeth so white, what I've done to them, all the things. So in this video, I'm gonna break it all down for you. And honestly, to me, it's pretty easy, but I get how if you've never done this, it can seem like such an obstacle to overcome. So let's get into it. And just by the way, all links are gonna be below. Make sure you follow me on all socials. Let's get started. Years ago, I began whitening my teeth and that was because my husband was very, very, very into his teeth, right? Being just clean and white. And I hadn't ever experienced whitening my teeth until then. So we found these Amazon bundles of whitening gel that actually do work. You'll find some that are 20%, maybe 33%, but the 40, 44% syringes work well. The thing about it though, is that they are extremely strong. So it is very important that number one, when you start to do this, you do it at your own discretion. Understand that these gels are extremely strong. You want to Make sure you coat your gums with Vaseline before doing it. It might sound disgusting to put Vaseline in your mouth, but to be honest, that is the only thing that has saved me from using the 44% and not feeling like I'm gonna die. It is very strong. When it gets on your gums and you don't have a barrier to block the potency of the gel and your teeth, your enamel, oh, you're gonna feel it, okay? This stuff is very strong. It whitens really, really fast. I've been whitening for a long time, for years now. So as you can see, my teeth are really white and to be honest, Honest, they don't get very yellow. And again, I'm gonna break everything down for you and how I maintain it. But just to say, I started whitening years ago. And when you're first starting to whiten for the very first time, you're starting from scratch. So your teeth might be really, really yellow, okay? Yellow slash brown. And that's natural, it's life, right? Don't be ashamed of that. I used to have yellow teeth, like, come on. When you don't know, you just don't know. So when you aren't, aren't around people that have white teeth, it's all just normal to you. And then when you encounter someone that has white teeth, it's like, oh, wait a minute, I don't even wanna smile now because her mouth and look at my mouth. I get that, right? So start from scratch, you're whitening your teeth. You're gonna whiten until you reach your desired level of whitening. What does that mean? Stop when you feel happy. Okay, you wanna whiten as much as possible in a short amount of time to get to where you wanna go. So if you are starting from scratch and you're whitening your teeth once a week, it's gonna take you a while to get white. It depends on how yellow your teeth are. But if you're starting from scratch, you're whitening every other day, you're gonna get there faster, right? But of course you wanna check in with yourself and see how your teeth are feeling in terms of sensitivity while you're whitening because the fact remains, your teeth are going to be sensitive. Me, our son can chew ice cream. I could never, you know? My teeth are more sensitive to cold than hot drinks. So I'll find sometimes like, hmm, you know, ooh. But that happens mainly when I have freshly whitened my teeth. Now that I haven't whitened in a long time, I don't have much issue when it comes to sensitivity. But do I experience sensitivity? Absolutely. You're whitening your teeth. The strength of everyone's bone, because your teeth is a bone. The strength of everyone's bone is different. So I can tolerate a lot, but you might find that you cannot tolerate a lot. And that's why you want to take Take your time while doing this. Maybe twice a week and see how your teeth are feeling and then continue. You gotta just check in with yourself, okay? You are in some ways stripping your enamel in order to have white teeth. I'm all here for it, okay? That has just been my choice. So move at your discretion, okay? So you're starting from scratch, whitening your teeth. You're going to see white spots because some spots of the teeth, in my experience, whiten faster than others. So when I first do it, it'll be like, again, white spots. You're like, what is all this patchiness? But it ends up many ending somehow and going away. And then the more you continue, then all of the tooth gets white. I don't just whiten the front where you see when I smile, I whiten the whole thing. I do have the customized trays from my dentist. So if you have a dentist, which I hope that you do, I hope that you have dental insurance, you have a dentist, ask for the customized trays. They mold it to your teeth. That goo is just so messy and gross, but it's molded to your teeth. And then you can use those syringes from Amazon and then put it in the tray and then, 
wet it down and then you are whitening your teeth. If you don't have those or don't feel like it, whatever the case is, you can use the tray, the general or the universal trays that come with the actual package, the gel syringe packets, okay? They're gonna be harder, thicker, and you boil it in hot water and then bite it down and it gives you a little bit of a mold. It does work though. Don't feel like if you don't have the customized trays, it's not gonna work. My trays are free, but that the universal tray that comes in the package does work. Now, if you're nervous, go with something like a 20% or 30% to go easy. If you trying to hit this thing hard, Okay, you trying to hit the thing hard, go straight to the 40, 44%, okay? Not too much gel because when you bite down on, this, on the tray, it's going to swoosh and then spread onto your teeth. The more you do it, it's gonna get everywhere, but no matter what, in my experience, you'll have those patches. It'll all mend itself over, like I said. The Vaseline, I had to learn the hard way to do on the gums because yo, again, like I said, it's very, very strong. I whitened a lot in the very beginning when I was whitening my teeth years ago, and then I would just do it periodically. And to be honest, I don't believe I whitened my teeth at all this year in 2022. I don't believe I whitened my teeth at all. That just goes to show that once you've gotten to your desired level of whitening, you don't need to do much. Now I do drink coffee every single day because of keto. All right. So I know that I need a touch up. Okay. So I am going to do a touch up now, but just to give you an idea, I have not whitened in God knows how long. Okay. So in my experience, once you got there, you're there and then you just maintain. So what is maintaining? White and whenever you feel like it, there's no calendar or schedule to this. So like I said, I'm going to white in now, maybe today, you know, and just do touch ups maybe once a month, maybe once every few months. I look at my face every day I'm a content creator so I notice different things going on in my face and I'll look and be like mm, a little bit of a, a little bit of a yellow tinge going on because dark drinks do color our teeth okay sodas teas coffees all of that colors and even foods color our teeth so that's where the touch-ups come into play what I can say though that I have been doing as a touch-up that really wasn't that intentional I just did it was purchasing this Colgate whitening toothpaste this stuff works works okay so from this year i would say this has been what has been holding me over and maintaining my whiteness the whiteness of my teeth is because this toothpaste has a whitening properties in it so i use this every single day i don't find my teeth being extra sensitive as a result but again be careful you might find yourself wanting to interchange between this perhaps in the morning and then a sensodyne in the evening or something more neutral but i can use this twice a day every day again this is my teeth my bones are stronger Go Go with what works for you. This toothpaste is the bomb. It is good. It is really freaking good. When I first started using it, I noticed a huge difference. Now I always use it. So I just notice again, my teeth are not that yellow, but I do see a little bit of a that needs to be corrected with the actual whitening gel and the whitening trays. But a whitening toothpaste like this one, fantastic. I have it on subscribe and save. I get it in the mail what, once a month or one, I get the three pack once a month, I think. And I, I love this. I stinking love this toothpaste. It really, really works. Some toothpaste I feel like don't be working. No, 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 no. This works. So add to cart, all links are below. You gotta make sure you're flossing okay don't feel like you're gonna whiten your teeth and then have a poor dental hygiene that is disgusting okay i'm just gonna say it right i, I have a four-step dental hygiene routine first of which is to floss we have to understand that we're not just trying to whiten the outside of our teeth in between can be brown and that's where i am seeing the brownness on my teeth because of the coffee you want to make sure you're flossing because not only like do you want to have white teeth and bad breath like not gonna work you know so let's get the flossing going i floss every day and i use floss picks get in between them teeth would you want to have white teeth and cavities not gonna work you know what i'm saying the whitening is not gonna have the cavity. In fact, it's gonna burn because you got a hole in your tooth. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and get that flossing going. You know, praise the Lord. And then we're doing the brushing. Maybe you're using the Colgate Optic White. Is it Optic White? You know, I'll show it to you here. That toothpaste, you know, then we are doing our tongue because we're, we're doing teeth whitening, but we don't wanna have bad breath, okay? We don't wanna have white teeth and bad breath. You feel what I mean? So we're scraping the tongue with the tongue scraper. Links are below. And then also using this mouthwash that is fantastic. I love it. Two different chambers. It mixes when you pour, activates it. That way and then mix into the mouth. Wow, I don't have bad breath. We have grown to feel like bad breath is normal. It is not normal, it's disgusting. And again, I learned this as I got older and just got really into this. You should not be having bad breath. It's different to have a tinge in your mouth because of something that you ate, perhaps something that's, that was oniony or garlicky, but to wake up with bad morning breath? No, 
That should not be happening. I don't have morning breath because I do my four step routine. Floss, brush, tongue scraper, and then the mouthwash. That mouthwash kills everything. And I do it twice a day, morning and night when I brush. I'm brushing twice a day as well. I feel like it's all too common that we're not taking our dental hygiene very seriously. On my channels, I love a good slay, I love a good glam, but what's in the mouth? Let's discuss the mouth, okay? Cause that's important. So all of that will also help to clean out the mouth on the cheek roof of the roof of the mouth and all of that because that all contributes to the odor the color the discoloration of the teeth come on let's, let's let's get into this you know very very important so yeah that's it if you have whitened your teeth comment and let me know if you have personalized trays from your dentist i want to know as well if you have a toothpaste that you found that has been helpful let me know as well because i love this one but i definitely am open to others and i hope this video helps you if you've whitened and you had a great experience a terrible experience comment and let me know as well but this is an easy way to do it and this is what i stick by and it works as you can see. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.